everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a little bit so I can show you the plants that I purchased over the month of March. Um, it was actually just the beginning part of March um, because into the middle of March I really didn't purchase any more plants. But um, I'm going to start by showing you the plants that I purchased at a local nursery here, outdoor nursery. And at first they really didn't have too many house plants um, in the colder months, but now that it is warming up, they started to get some really cool plants in. So I did pick up a few plants there, so I will start showing you those plants that I picked up. And I'll start off by this little um, begonia that I bought. And I'm pretty sure this is an outdoor begonia. It was in the outdoor section um, near the register, but when I saw it, I really liked the leaves. Around the leaves there are, it's like a red color. And so I really like that and I did like um, the red flowers on it. And this one is called um, Begonia Fiona Red. So that is the first one that I got. This plant I believe was, I think it was $2.99 or $3.99, I can't remember, but um, I just liked it, so I thought I would uh, bring it home with me. So that is the first plant that I got. Okay, so the next plant I also got at um, that nursery, and the nursery by the way is called Desert Horizons Nursery, um, and the next plant I got is this um, Aglonema. This Chinese evergreen on the tag it says it is called first diamond and it was um, $24.99 so I did think that it was a little bit pricey um, but I really like the plant I don't have this one I do have um, multiple aglonema in my home and they do seem to do pretty well so when I saw this one and I didn't have it I picked it up. I liked that it is just two colors. It has the white and the green, and they're just so easy to take care of that um, I had to pick this one up. So that is the next one here on my um, plant haul of March, my Ch uh, Chinese evergreen. Okay, so this next plant, I was super excited when I saw it at the nursery. And at first I did not um, pick it up. I was only buying one plant that day. I was limiting myself. And I thought about it like the whole drive home and then the whole next day. So I went back and I got it. And this plant is the Silver Stripe. So it is a philodendron. Um, it does look very similar to their Brazil, but the stripes on the leaves are um, like a, a white, like a really pale yellow white. Such a cool plant. This one was $14.99, and it is a six inch plant, and it's been doing good, pretty good. I've had it for a couple of weeks now, and it is, um, it's growing, um, the leaves are growing out solid it looks like but I'm sure that it will get some um, striped leaves here pretty soon but I just love this plant and I did not have it so I picked that one up also so the next plant I'm going to show you I did purchase this plant uh, probably two years ago and I love this plant. Like it is one of my favorite plants and it got infested with mealy bugs and it died. I could, there was no saving it. I put alcohol, I sprayed it with neem oil. I, I, I did everything I could to save this plant and it, it just didn't make it. The mealy bugs just destroyed it. So I was on the lookout for this plant again and I could not find it until one day I went into Lowe's and they had a very small, I think it was like a two, three inch pot. And so I grabbed it because I did not um, think I was gonna find it anywhere else. So then I went to the Desert Horizons Nursery here and I found the plant. I grabbed it as fast as I could.
and it is the goldfish plant. So this plant is so beautiful, one of my favorite plants. Um, as you can see, it, it does have some blooms here, um, showing why they call it the goldfish plant. The blooms do look like goldfish. So this plant was $32.99, and it says it is um, it says black goldfish plant, and it is an eight inch plant. But look how full and beautiful this plant is. And it already has blooms. I've had it for, um, I'd say maybe three weeks, close to a month by now, and um, it has bloomed a lot. I don't know, can you guys see that? So. Awesome plant, one of my favorites, super easy to take care of. If you keep it um, near bright light and you don't even have to water it too often, um, but I do think it's susceptible to mealybugs for whatever reason, my small pot that I have of the goldfish plant, um, I saw that it had mealybugs not too long ago. And of course right now you cannot find alcohol anywhere in the stores so I'm like sh stressing out trying to find other ways to kill these mealybugs because um, they are attacking my Hoya as well. So um, if you guys have any other suggestions for um, killing mealybugs other than alcohol, um, please let me know in the comments because I'm stressing out over these mealybugs and not having any rubbing alcohol to kill them with. So um, hopefully this plant will stay mealybug free. I'm keeping a very close eye on it, keeping it far away from um, where my Hoya are that have some mealybugs on them. But this plant is just such a beautiful plant. It is on my top 10 favorite plants ever. If you do not have one, I recommend that you get one. Super easy to take care of, super beautiful plant, and they just have the coolest little goldfish blooms. So this is probably the fav my favorite plant that I bought uh, the month of March. It is the goldfish plant. Okay, so I have three more plants that I purchased. Um, one of them was at Lowe's, one of them at the grocery store, and then one from Steve's Leaves. So let me grab those plants. I'm going to show you the one that I bought at Steve's Leaves first. Um, but before I go on, the last time I wore this shirt in a video, I had a lot of um, questions or comments asking me where I got it um, because it does have little um, plants all over it. And I did purchase this shirt at Old Navy of all places. Um, I love their jeans, so I was in there buying jeans and I saw the shirt. Um, so I picked it up, super cute. Um, okay, so back to the plants. So I purchased one from Steve's Leaves. I love buying from Steve's Leaves, but a lot of times by the time that I get to their website, um, the plants that they just released or sold out. Um, I did purchase my um, variegated arrowheads from Steve's Leaves. I purchased two of them from them um, because I got on the list where you can, um, they'll notify you when the plant is back in stock. But I was on browsing on Steve's Leaves and I saw this plant and I was like, no way. Um, I can't believe that I got there in time, and so I bought it. And it is this philodendron birkin. There's the tag. So this plant, I believe it was $9.99, and I was so happy to get this one. It um, has been on my wish list for a little bit, and when I saw it, I just knew that I had to get it. And it was only $9.99, and it is a smaller plant, but they grow pretty quick, and they're super easy growers. 
like I said, philodendron, they're really easy plants to grow. So I was super excited when I saw this one and I'm so happy that I have it in my collection. So that is the philodendron birkin. Okay, so this next plant, um, I'm sure you have all seen them in your grocery stores or nurseries um, in the month of March, and it is the oxalis. So I have had um, oxalis in the past. I've had the green and the purple, and they have done really well in my house. And then when it got colder weather, they kind of died off, so I just took the tubers and I had them outside one day when I was like cleaning up my plant area and a storm came in and wind took the tubers, blew them all over the place and I lost my plant. So when I saw this, I knew that I had to get it. They also had a purple one, but the purple one was really beat up and I thought um, it was only $4.99. So I thought I'll go to some other grocery stores and find another purple one that isn't so um, beat up and you know a little bit better shape but that's right when um, the whole quarantine and um, I just didn't really want to go into the stores so I never got a purple one so I was kind of upset about that but it's better than getting sick right um, I'm sure I can get one next um, year in March but I really do love these plants. They do require a lot of water and they also do like sunlight. So I do have it sitting um, at my south facing door and it seems to be doing very well because I did get this at the beginning of March. But like I said, it does require a lot of water. The soil likes to um, stay moist most of the time, I think. So this is a plant that you have to keep your eye on. You can't forget about it and come back, you know, a week later because it will be flopped over and um, dried out. So um, I really like this plant. It's a very simple plant, but I do um, really like this one. So that is my oxalis. So the last plant I'm going to show you, this is a plant that I was searching for forever. I will link a video um, up above here showing you guys when I was searching for this plant. Never thought that I was going to find it and I did find it. You guys, I found the chocolate drop euphorbia. So this plant was $24.99 and it has one, two, three, four um, different plants in there. And I really liked this one here in the front, um, how it was a single plant, but then it had arms growing off of it. So that's why I picked this one. And this plant I did pick up at Lowe's and I was so excited when I found this plant. And I've been wanting it for a really long time it's just such a cool plant and um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it all together or if I'm going to separate it out, but I will definitely keep you guys updated on that, let you know what I do with it, but I'm so happy that I found it. So um, you'll have to go back and watch that video of when I was searching for it and now I finally found it at Lowe's. So, so that's another plant off my wish list. So the month of March has been um, a crazy month. It has been a super strange month, but it was a good month in plants for me. Um, I did get, you know, multiple plants off my wish list, plants that I've been looking for. And so I was really happy for that. But probably the month of April, I won't buy any plants just because you know, we're really not going anywhere. So I wanna know if you guys purchased any plants in the month of March and which plants that you purchased. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you in the comments. Um, so if you purchased a plant in March, let me know down below. Also, 
Um, I'm going to insert a picture of um, just one of my Hoya that I started fertilizing probably right at the end of February, first part of March. And um, I just wanted to insert the picture so you can see the growth on this thing. So that is a sneak peek into my fertilizer video. Um, I am hoping to film that one either today, hopefully tomorrow, and then get it edited for you guys. But I really do want to do that video because I have been fertilizing my plants and they seem to um, really love it and responding well to it. So I will get that video up. So if you don't want to miss that video, don't forget to subscribe um, to my channel before you leave. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe. I will see you soon. And until next time, guys. Bye.